Obamacare is at it again. First, you can't keep your plan. Then you can't keep your doctor. Now, you may not be able to keep your medicine. It is the latest consequence of the health care hell. Huge issues with what drugs are covered under each plan. Here with the details of what you need to know and how much it's going to cost you, of course, is Dr. Scott Gottlieb. He is a practicing physician and an AEI resident fellow, former senior policy advisor at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. So you certainly know exactly what you're talking about. Um, what is going on here? What is the problem? Well, the drug lists, so the formularies in these plans are very different than what people are used to in What's the private market. What's a formulary? Formulary is a list of drugs that your plan will provide coverage for, often with a copay. Um, these are what's going to be offered in Obamacare is called a closed formulary, meaning that if a drug isn't on this list of the drugs that are covered, they're not going to be covered at all. And at all? Basically, so you'll be out of pocket. So does it go against your deductible or anything? No, that's the problem. The costs that you'd spend on the drugs that aren't covered doesn't count against your deductible and doesn't count against your out-of-pocket caps. Your maximum out-of-pocket. Right. So you're not sort of gaining any points by spending your own money no. on these drugs. So what is your, what is your choice then? Well, I think people need to be really careful when they select one of these plans because there's wide variation. There's also not a lot of information available about these different formularies. One study looked at the different formularies across all the plans and found anywhere from 450 to 1,000 drugs were covered on the different formularies. So if you get the plan that only covers 450 drugs, that might be very restrictive. What are, I mean, are these crazy expensive drugs that they're not covering? That, that Pretty you much. Have gotten, okay, so, that, so is it a common drug that most people would take? I mean, what's an example of one? Well, I looked at one plan in North Carolina where um, a common, a fairly common drug for multiple sclerosis wasn't covered. What's it called? Uh, Obagio, and it's an expensive drug. If you had to go out and buy it by yourself, you wouldn't be able to. And so patients are, who are on this drug need this drug. This isn't the drug where there's what we call a therapeutic alternative, meaning you could switch to another medicine. So if you're on like a cholesterol medicine, you might be able to switch to another one pretty easily. But a lot of these drugs that aren't on these formularies, you can't find a therapeutic alternative. But who is the judge of that? Because I mean, I, I feel like already I run into that, that you get a prescription from your doctor, you go to the pharmacy, you go to check out, you get the bill, it's $12 billion. <laughs> and you're like, wait a second, I have insurance. Did you not realize that? And they they say, oh, you know, your plan said that they wouldn't cover that. You have to go back. Your doctor fights with them and says there is no alternative, and then it ends up being covered. That's not the case here. Right, the doctor it's not can't the case. go back and advocate for you? No, it's not the case here. I mean, because the, these are what we call closed formulas. So oftentimes what happens is if, is if a drug isn't on the preferred list for your plan right now, you'll have some coverage, you'll have some coinsurance, but it just won't be a lot. Usually it's like 30%. In this case, it's zero. The drug isn't covered at all. Um, also, the co-pays for the covered drugs are much higher on these plans, on the order of around 40 percent compared to around 25 percent on commercial plans. So are these, the, the and you're talking about specifically the plans that are on the federal website? Or right, the Obamacare plans. I mean, this is one of the compromises they had to make to cheapen these plans to pay for all the other stuff. They basically have more restrictive formularies. So how can you protect yourself? I mean, if you're somebody who's out there and... It, and